Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Candace. I'm Candace, and we're going to be conversing today. As you can tell by the title, I'm doing another braidless crochet, and this time I'm using the Outre Expressions Kinky Curl. Now, if you have watched a few of my videos, you may have seen that I've used this hair or this brand of hair before. I did do the Bohemian Curl and I did the Bahamas Curl when I went on my cruise, and now I have the Kinky Curl. The pack of hair looks like this, and it has the four in one pieces in it. So each piece has more hair than if you were to get like a normal um, pack of hair. And I would imagine that there are 10 sections, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 sections in this pack. I'm going to take the hair out and show you and then we're going to get into the install and my initial thoughts. So it comes in the pack like this and it has a little net over it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the net off. It looks a lot like the Bahamas curl and the bohemian curl and now that i have it out of the pack let's take a look see each piece has it's technically two sections but it's folded over into four sections so there's one two three four and it's held together by a rubber band i actually really like this rubber band. I like that to loosen it, I can just pull it down and then when I loop the hair, I can pull this bottom part and tighten it back up. So for the majority of my hair, I'm actually gonna leave the band on and because there's more hair in this section, I can skip spaces in my head and make sure that it's not too full but still full enough. Here's how my hair is sectioned. Again, this is a braidless crochet. I did do plaits in my hair when my hair was wet and then I wrapped my hair down and sat under the dryer. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sections. I have eight sections in my hair. These are plaits. You can also do twists. Mine are held down by rubber bands at the base and the end. You don't have to do rubber bands, but it helps me to keep my hair um, secure. I don't want it to come undone while I'm doing the rest of it. I did do a little gel around my edges to just lay my edges down, but you don't have to do that either. The great thing about braidless crochet is that you can do it however you want. It's kind of like a cornrow pattern. You can have a braidless pattern, whatever works for you. I know that I always have a part right here. The other thing that I absolutely have to have when I do my braidless crochet is a mesh cap. Now this is not the XL one that I usually get, but I think it's gonna be fine. It's a stretchy cap. I always look for the girl right there. And this is the one that doesn't have the hole in the top. You can get the one that's open in the top, but I don't, I don't do that. This is what the cap looks like. And it is super stretchy. I have a big head and I have to make sure that it's gonna go over my entire head. So to get the cap on, I put my hands in like this, put it on the front and pull it down on the back. And then I just tuck my hair underneath. So for the time being, I'm gonna leave this band down here or actually about halfway up near my edges. Once I get the hair um, crocheted in, probably about halfway, I'll pull this back and then I'll continue to um, crochet in the front. So I have one full pack of the hair in my head. I'll show you what it looks like in the back. I did try to skip spaces like a finger width and a half apart because it is gonna be a lot of hair if I don't do that. So here's where we are. And I'm going into my second pack of hair now. I am mixing the color two and the color four. This is a two. Um, this is going to be a four, and I'll show you how I install. So, so here's the piece of hair. First, I take two of these strands and just separate them. I don't do all four because I don't want it to be completely fluffy. I want some to be uniform and some to be like this. See the difference? Then 
I hold it by the top and pull down the rubber band about that much. So I have a big enough hole for me to put the hair through and it's about that big. So inserting my latch hook, I go underneath the braid as well as the cap and I push it all the way through to where it's open. I put the hair on, close the latch hook, that's very important, close it, pull it through, and then I take the hook off. I put my hands, my fingers, through this hole and grab the hair. And I pull it through and tighten. And as I push this up, I push the rubber band up as well. So now it's very tight. It's secure, but it's not too tight on my hair. So I am roughly four packs in and I realize I've not done a good job of blending the color two and the color four. I should have staggered them more, but I haven't. So I have about half a pack of four left, half a pack of two. So I'm going to make sure I mix them up really well in this area. So now it is time for me to push back the cap. I'm sure I'm going to have a line. Yes, I am. And I just want to push it back as far as it'll go right there and then I'm going to continue crocheting this area behind here and then when I fill in this area I'm going to make a slit just in the front part of the cap in the big band part so it kind of um, it hides the band it doesn't make it look like a wig Right, so I'm at the point where I'm almost done and I need to cut a little slit right here in the band. This is something that you have to be very careful doing. Don't cut your hair. But I just lift up the band and cut. So then now I can do the invisible knot method right here to hide the rest of it, but it'll look like it's growing from my scalp. Do the invisible knot method, I will take the band off. I'm going to take the band all the way off, and the easiest way to do this is just pull it like this and it'll pop off. There we go. So now I'm going to take the pieces of hair apart so I can have two sections that are loose, and I'm going to insert it the same way. But instead of pulling both sides through, I'm going to pull one side through. So I'll split it and then just pull one side through like that. So it looks more natural at the loop. And I'll do it again. And pull it apart like that. So now it looks like it's coming out of my scalp and I'm gonna do that until I've hid the band. Right, all right, all right. So here I am with a full head of the Outre Expressions Kinky Curl 14 inches. I use every single piece in those five packs. I actually have a half of a piece left over that I'm probably gonna fit in somewhere right here, but it's really bouncy, it's really soft. Now I do know from experience, after about two weeks, it gets a little bit too um, bird's nest-y for me, so I'm not gonna leave it in for more than two weeks, but 
I really do enjoy this hair as much as I like the Bahamas curl, as much as I like the Bohemian curl. And um, just for reference, I paid $6.99 per pack and I purchased five packs. Each pack has 12 pieces in it, so that's 60 pieces in my hair. Even with um, like staggering the pieces, I still feel like going back and adding some just made it look more full and more fun. This is day one. Obviously, this is the best it's going to look as I sleep on it and I wear it out. It's going to start to get more fuzzy, but this curl pattern is one that doesn't look bad when it's fuzzy. So I am very happy with this and I will be trying other ultra hair in the future. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Conversations with Candace. If you haven't already, feel free to follow me on my Instagram page at Conversations with Candace. And until next time, y'all have a good day.